Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and today I'm gonna show you a uh, different type of uh, pattern paper and marking paper that we have. We have been having many, many requests regarding the type of paper that you use for uh, pattern making, sewing and cutting and uh, I thought I'm gonna show you the different between the two different papers that we have, the main paper that we have for pattern making and while I was at it, I thought I'm going to show you some of the tools that you use for making patterns. So, uh, you see here we have cloth weight. Um, it's about four and a half, five pounds, ten inch, that you put on your pattern when you want to cut something to hold it. We have this on our website. This is pattern hooks that you hold on and carry your patterns and markings with it. Uh, needle point tracing wheel. We're one of the only companies in USA that manufacture this. Needle point tracing wheel. Uh, our very popular gold star tool notchers. Uh, regular tracing wheel. I'm sure you've seen this. Uh, screw punches to make different type of holes. Owls. Pattern making scissors and rabbit punch. So before we go on, I'm gonna show you the, the difference between pattern paper and marking paper. So a lot of people call these two pattern papers. But the, actually what we have here is a marking paper. I'm gonna put this away. What we have here is a marking paper. And the reason it's called pop marking paper is because there are numbers on it. Some had one, two, three, four, five. Some had A, B, C, D. They call them good guide. Some people call them uh, marking papers. Some people call them uh, easy guide, uh, numerical paper. So, uh, and the reason that you have number is that you could connect the dots much easier. Let's say if you want to draw, you could just, you know, you're in this line, just go down and just, you draw. They call this marking paper. Uh, they come in uh, two different sizes, 48 width and 60 inch. And at Gold Star Tool, uh, we sell them both in 10 yards and 500 feet. So pretty much this is made so you could follow, you could see through. You could see my hand underneath, or I'm gonna put a piece of fabric underneath. I'm gonna draw something here. And let's say you could just, you could see, you could just see and draw the same thing. Then you'll cut this and then you put it on top of your fabric and then you do um, cut the fabric. You make this your pattern. You could also put the whole thing on top of your pattern and uh, staple it down and cut your fabric with this paper. So this is called marking paper, good guide, easy guide, numerical paper, uh, very, very popular among pattern makers, uh, sewers, designers, uh, one of the most popular papers and we sell them at Gold Star Tool. So this is called marking paper. The other item is pattern paper or oak tag paper, or manila paper. It's like manila folders. They come in three different weights. 100 weight, that's the thickness. 125 or 150. Um, we always carried 125, the medium weight. And everybody loves it. Uh, this is when you're going to a production, when you're done with your pattern and you did all the changes, and everything is good, you go ahead and you make the pattern, cut, cut this, and then you have this as your pattern. You could carry it around and leave it, uh, keep it for a long, long time. So uh, there are a variety of tools that you need for uh, using this. Number one is you need a pattern scissor. These are very popular pattern scissors that we sell them on our website. If you use other type of scissors on your fabric, on your paper, pattern paper, you're gonna ruin the 
paper. So these are 12 inch, and it's, this is what you use to cut your pattern. You could also cut your fabric with it, but it's mainly used for cutting your pattern. Very popular item. One of the things that you must have. Number two item that is very popular, pattern notcher. It gives you a quarter inch notch. This notch is like a guide. If you have to put two pieces together and they have to line up together, you make a notch here and you make a notch somewhere else and you know you have to bring this back and sew it together here, let's say. So it's a notcher quarter inch, that's the most popular size. And again, Gold Star makes one of the best pattern notchers in the world. We're very popular with the notchers. Easy, and you could even do cut fabrics with it and notch the fabric if you need to. Uh, it's mainly done for uh, guides to know where two pieces meet. Uh, you could also cut the marking paper with this to make a notch. As you see, I'm doing it. So this is a pattern notcher. The next thing that is very popular is a needle point tracing wheel. You could trace your pattern. As you see, I'm doing it here. It's called needle point because these are like needles. And uh, it, it's bent it's very easy for your thumb. See, like here, I could just follow the numbers if I wanted to. And from the other side, I could see what's going on. Even going through five or six layers, you still see the, I have the tracing here. It's called tracing wheel. You just trace your pattern with this. The way I do it. And you could see it from the other end. It's called tracing wheel. Needle point tracing wheel. The other item, that is not for pattern, but it's for tracing. It's threaded. It will do the same thing, but as you see the difference, this is needle point tracing wheel. This is a regular threaded point tracing wheel. So next item is the screw punch. Uh, they call, a lot of people call them Japanese screw punch. The one we sell is not Japanese, it's made in China. And we're very proud of that. A very good item, and when I say I'm proud, meaning that it's a good quality. It has nothing to do with being made in China. Uh, we are very proud of USA products too. So as you see, I'm making holes. You could find this on our website. You have them in 1.5 millimeter, 2.5 millimeter, 3 millimeter, 3.5, 4, and 2. You make different holes for marking. Let's say if you want to bring a zipper here, you could just mark and you show your zipper here. Or two places have to meet, again, in the middle of the fabric, you could just make a hole anywhere you want. That's needle uh, a screw punch. You could find it on our website. Next item, a rabbit punch. What do you use the rabbit punch for? To, for carrying your, to make a hole, three quarter hole in your pattern. I'll go ahead and make another one. It's heavy, really heavy, about 15 pounds. And you you make a hole in it. And let's say I'm gonna make a hole in the marking paper too. And that way you could carry them. How do you carry them? You use one of these um, pattern hooks. You put the pattern hooks through here, through the other hole, pull it out and carry it like this. This is the way you carry your patterns. And obviously, the last, but not the least, if you wanna go ahead and cut your fabric or cut your pattern, and you wanna hold it down, this is what you use to hold it down. A pattern weight or cloth weight made by Gold Star. Everything that you see here, we have them on our website, goldstartool.com. Please give us a call if you have any question www.goldstartool.com uh, Give us your comment, uh, give us a thumbs up, and let me know what you think regarding this video. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.
visit our website goldstartool.com.